hey guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here thank you for clicking on this video my name is Hati and I'm from Kampala Uganda and if you're returning thank you for the support and welcome back to my kitchen as if you missed the other first video of cooking I made fettuccine chicken alfredo so if you missed the video I'll link it in the description box down below so that you guys get to watch it so but in today's video I'll be making daddies and yeah in nigeria they call it chin chin so if you don't know chin 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 or daddies are these small snacks which people eat but for us before when i used to be in school we used to take these daddies for school because i used to be in boarding school so we used to take them to school as a snack at school i had the best daddies or oh, chin chin I, you know that snack it's made out of wheat the main ingredient is wheat so i had the best daddies all students were coming to me like oh hattie can you give us some some of your daddies my mom used to make for me the best best daddies that's why students were coming to me asking me how does your mom how does how do you people make your daddies at home how does your mom make it if you're my og and we used to study at the same school you know what i'm talking about i'll be making the daddy's or chin chin for my niece because you know she's going back to school so i had to like you know make for her some some of these daddies and you know she goes and enjoy actually these daddies you cannot only enjoy them at school as a snack you can take it to the office you can take it with tea in the evening when you feel like you can eat it and you can eat it as a snack um when you like anytime you really you like it so guys without further ado let's jump into this video for the ingredients you need wheat flour of course wheat flour is the main ingredient but today i'll be using um one one full packet and a half of it then you need sugar you need one cup of sugar you need four eggs okay depends on what on how much you're going to make but for my for my recipe i mean for my how i'm going to make you need eggs four eggs i'm going to put in four eggs you need um you need lemon zest these are lemon zest are grated then i put it on a small plate you need cardamom this is cardamom guys you need a half liter of milk this is half liter you need baking powder you need vanilla and you need some margarine blue band you need some blue band guys if you want if you don't have blue band you can use even butter but for me i, I mostly like using butter but since i don't have butter this time i will use blue band as a substitute so yeah these are the main ingredients as you can see so guys as i was saying let's jump into our video the first thing you need to do is you get oil i have my oil here this is the margarine i, I, I warmed up so i will pour it in my flour like this after pouring your margarine in the in the flour you mix it all together but be careful because the margarine can be hot it's hot you have to be careful touching it so you have to work your hands through it like this so that you mix the margarine plus the flour together. After mixing your margarine in the in the wheat flour, you add cardamom. We get whole cardamom then after we grind it, we grind it all together to get this consistency. So I will get a little bit of cardamom just like this then after i'll put it in my flour after the cardamom i'll get a little this size of baking flour and i'll also add it then i'll get as i told you in my ingredients i just grated this lemon zest so i'll also add it in my flour guys look at that color look at it so you mix it all together you mix all your dry ingredients together another thing i'll get sugar i'll get my one cup of sugar as you can see then i'll pour it in my i'll pour it in my flour this is one cup of sugar 
Then I'll mix the sugar plus the flour all together. Also. So I'll finish mixing all my dry ingredients all together. Now let's go on to our wet ingredients. The wet ingredients I already told you I have milk, eggs, and if 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 you if you want you can also add some little bit of water. In our eggs, I'll add a little bit of vanilla, just a drop, a little bit of vanilla in the eggs. Like then after I'll mix my vanilla and the eggs together as so. Pour all the eggs. You pour the eggs in the flour. So the next ingredient is milk. You pour your milk. This is one cup of milk. Make sure when you're going to mix this stuff, make sure that your hands are very clean before you start mixing. Mix like that. After mixing, after mixing the milk and the eggs together, I'll add a little bit of water as so. This is the sauce. This is the saucepan I use to warm the margarine, so it's okay. I added, I add, I added water in it, so I'll add water in my flour to mix it together. This is real workout. Real, real hand workout. Oh my god. After kneading the dough, it should the consistency should be like this. Not soft and not very hard. It should be it should be a, your hand should be able to like poke inside like this and come out. Mm. You know, like that. After kneading your dough, you let it sit for around 20 to 30 minutes. You cover your dough like this with the with the paper. Yeah. You want to say hi to the video? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So hi guys. Hi. Um, it's Andy again. He's my best friend and my best friends since we were young. His name is Trevor. Yeah, his name is Trevor. Okay. So, mm -hmm. okay, guys. Um, we're gonna we're gonna be doing challenges, and you guys don't miss the content. Uh -huh. And also, don't forget to subscribe yeah. and turn on your no post, post notification so that you don't miss any new videos, videos. we shall be posting. Yeah, so. every day, every banger. <laughs> oh. So okay. bye, bye guys. We're gonna go and play. Woo. We are back after 30 minutes. Our door has been sitting for 30 minutes, so we are back. You open your door. So the door looks like this. So you cut, then after you cut some li a little piece of the dough because we are going to start making our daddy's o chin chin. You have to really be with a very clean surface where you're going to work your dough from. So you just sprink sprinkle a little bit of flour. So you, you sprinkle a little bit of flour on your surface. Your surface has to be very clean. So you put your nice little dough. Then you do this. I don't know how it's called, but this is what I do always. I don't know how what this is called. You make like a round chapati. I'm not good in, in making round things, but whatever. Whatever is good for you or whatever whatever shape you want to make. But so yeah, this is what you do. You no know, guys, this time I'm making these daddies or chin chin. I'm making them for school. So I'm going to be cutting very tiny pieces of them. So that's why I want to make my dough very flat. So yeah, so yeah, this is what I was looking for. This is what I want. 
don't mind about my shape because I'm not good, you know, I'm, I'm not perfect. The best thing to do this, to cut this thing is to use a pizza, a pizza knife. Since I don't have, since I don't have a pizza cutter, I'll be using my knife. So you just cut tiny pieces like this. I've been this is what I was looking for I don't know if you guys can see this is what I've been looking for this is what I want then after you cut small small pieces since they are for school and you know this if you cut small small pieces they will be crunchy and they will take a long time without getting bad actually they don't get bad the way I've made them these don't get bad and the sizes I'm cutting, they will be really crunchy and nice. These are the daddies I've already cut, but now I'm going to put it in my oil. We have we already turned on our oil. Our oil is already hot, so I'm going to be putting these daddies in the hot oil so that they can cook. So, but make sure that the, the daddies are not sticky. Make sure that they are very easy to, to be scooped and put in the oil. So, you put the daddies in the oil. So, but you have to be careful because the oil is so hot. So, yeah, these are our daddies getting ready as you can see. But, they are starting to change color as you can see guys you wait until they get golden brown that's when you move so, you can see they are starting to turn color see how beautiful they are as you can see our that is have turned brown so here they are ready to go out of the, so out of the oil so you can see how beautiful they are Look, guys, how beautiful and shiny and crunchy i'll let you guys know how they taste so when they reach this color you are free to remove them Guys, this is so beautiful. Make sure that you bring all the oil, all of it. So, guys, these are the daddies ready, or you can call them chinchins as the, as the Nigerians call them. As you can see, they are ready, they are so nice, they are so crunchy, they take even a long time. So, yeah. As you can see guys how beautiful look at them how beautiful they are crunchy auntie auntie Kim. okay okay i'll come and see her so yes guys this is it okay guys that is it for today's video as you can see guys i'm even sitting down because i'm so so tired these things can making them is not an easy job so i'm very tired thank you for watching my video don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to turn on your post notification so that you don't miss any new video so that you don't miss any new videos i will be posting so yeah i love you guys please take care this that these chin chins or daddies mm -hmm. eh? chin chins they're called chin chins you know, in, a, in, in nigeria in nigeria okay. they call them chin chins but listen since they're so, chin chins can they call it mummies because daddies <laughs> no 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 <laughs> can have them as a snack uh, when you're taking your tea in the evening or you can take them to work or you can have them for la, like evening lunch. I, yeah i said i already said evening with tea as your snack 
when you have visitors you can put them on the plate and these ones have made really take a long time so see you guys do you have something to tell them yeah the daddies are really good just good they look nice everyone knows right yeah and tell something don't forget to turn on post notifications yes. subscribe uh -huh. Like this video. Yes. Give a big fat like. Preach to them. <laughs> yeah. And also, I have one thing to say. Uh -huh. I am a footballer, guys. <laughs> I am a footballer. Uh -huh. I don't be lazy at home. Uh -huh. I really go to play football. Uh -huh. As these guys, I went for my match. Yeah, he Just plays like football. So, anyway, uh -huh. peace out, guys. See you next time. Bye bye. bye. We love you. We finished. <laughs>